There's been a lot of hubbub about putting video on the Facebooks and the LinkedIn and how if you do put video on there, you should probably transcribe it because most people like to scroll through their feed on mute. Maybe they're on the bus, maybe they're at work. However it is, that's how people are, are tending to consume the information. So I spent this morning trying to figure that out to help promote my podcast, Able Business Radio. So this is what I figured out. is The first thing I did was I just created a little trailer in, in uh, ScreenFlow right here. It was very simple. I record my podcast through Zoom. I found an interesting bit where Meredith Bell, my guest, was talking about introductions. So I pulled that clip out. Put it in a screen flow, added a starting and ending transition, as well as just a little bit of a text overlay to let people know that, hey, this is where the, the show is going to be. So from there, I uploaded the untranscribed video to YouTube. And YouTube has a cool feature where if you once you've uploaded it, you can click the CC or edit the video. Either way, it will get you there. Probably hitting the CC would get you there in one less click. And then you will uh, go to add CCs or subtitles. So I'll pick English. And I've already added this, but I can overwrite it because I hopefully have it saved in a text file over here. And um, you have three choices. Upload a file if you've already transcribed it. Transcribe and sync and create new subtitles or CCs. So I'm going to do this transcribe and auto sync to save a little bit of time. And what's so neat about this feature is you, you hit play, and it, so it's playing, you're listening to the video, and then as soon as you want to start typing, you can type, and then as soon as you stop typing, it starts playing the video again. So it's super easy to transcribe. I did not know this, and I transcribed mine beforehand, but now that I know this, that's, this is how I'm going to do it in the future. So let me see. All right, this is the, the text I ended up with. Took me only a couple minutes to get that 30 seconds in there. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, set timings. And then it takes a minute or two. But from here, Google will automatically tr take the transcriptions that you made and time them out based off the voice. So we can see how that looks. I think it's it's working on it. It's almost done. Cool. So it's, yep, finished. It looks like it finished it off right here. So here are the annotations. And we can see, play it right here. And it aligns perfectly well, which is pretty awesome. So from here, so we've got it on YouTube, and how I plan on getting it to LinkedIn is just putting that YouTube link in, in LinkedIn. However, with Facebook, they like you to upload the video. So in uploading the video, you can also add uh, the what's called the SRT file. I can't remember what it stands for, sub rip title, subtitle file, something like that. So you download that. SRT file, so I'll just say captions.srt, and then when you find it, you bring it here, and Facebook likes it a particular way, which I will show you, um, file name english.us. So that's how you would get it into Facebook when you upload the video right there. Um, so we can, hmm, do I want to do that right now? Well, this is what it looked like on, on Facebook when I got it done. So you go to, f so it looks good on Facebook. Um, how you get there is when you post, it actually is kind of tricky. So maybe I'll try to show you right here. So, um, more settings. No, that wasn't it. No, I think he, he, he here it is. You got to go full screen and then you go edit video. I don't know why you got to go full screen. You just do, at least at the moment. I'm sure Facebook is editing a lot of different things uh, as they're figuring everything out right now. But this is January 11th as, as of this is working. So from there, you choose to, you can say the description and, and the title, choose the thumbnail. You got a few choices uh, to put in there. I don't know if you can upload that yeah, it's not something that it does, unlike YouTube. And then you could choose the file, 
and you can find that that SRT file. So English. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And what was that called again? File name. Oh, okay. BBC. Yeah, file name. So that's what you would upload, and then it automatically puts those transcriptions in. So that is how you do it. That's every every step of the way. If you want to get a video transcribed in YouTube and then sent to LinkedIn, here's here's what it looks like in, in LinkedIn for me. So you can tell it's from YouTube, but I think it automatically plays in the muted version on the feed and it looks pretty good in there. The thing you could do is put your um, a watermark if you have a show or a logo or, or anything like that in there. So that is, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. Thanks for tuning in and hopefully this helped you. And really, honestly, I'm recording this so I know how to do it next time or I can delegate it for next time. Take care.